Washington State Supreme Court recently upheld the Democrats' capital gains tax as constitutional, saying it is an excise tax. What are your concerns about this ruling? Well, you know, we had a very fair ruling out of the lower courts saying that the this was clearly income. And why is it income? When I talked to uh, a neighbor lady when I was home this last weekend, we talked about that. That was her number one concern about their um, savings. What does this mean? And she then was told about the $250,000 limit that anything over a $250,000 gain. I had to do a little of the math for her, explain it to her, you know, pretend that you had a $100,000 investment and you sold it for $300,000, well then it would be $200,000 of income on that. She understood that and she just said, oh, then I won't have to worry about it clearly in her mind's eye, but not realizing the legislature can change that number any time. They can just dial that number down if they feel like the tax isn't bringing in sufficient revenue into the state, which is reason why legislators put taxes on you is because they do want to take your hard-earned money, the gains that you have made by being frugal, working a lifetime, putting things away for the future to be self-reliant. That's when they'll start dialing that down and take more of what you rightly earned and we're planning on for your future. You've said this is another example of government price gouging its citizens. What do you mean by that? Well, we have a bill that we passed two years ago called the Climate Commitment Act. On that bill, we had our first auction in March finally, and that auction was a huge number, double what it cost for a carbon credit in California. And how that plays into the economy is it raises your gas price by 41 cents a gallon right on the first auction. And that takes right out of your personal income. It takes right out of your family budget. But it also rolls across the economy. They're blaming big oil for price gouging when in actuality, the state is taking $48.50 a metric ton of carbon dioxide equivalents out of the energy economy and that ripples through every aspect of the economy all the way down to shipping the food to the grocery stores. Everything gets marked up. Everything gets marked up from that increase in your fuel price. So in my opinion, that's government gouging. And this is the same way. You've saved your whole life. You've used the time value of money over a 30 or 40 year career. And then at the end, when you're planning on using that to have a dignity, dignity and age and being able to do some things that you'd put off the whole time you'd been working, they're taking a cut, 7% cut. That 7% can be dialed any direction as well. They can dial that up. They could take 10%. They could take more than 10%. We all know how that game's played. And for what? For more government spending and no control over where that money goes.